a cell factory started from scratch has insisted on original innovation and has grown into the chain leader of Shanxi's synthetic biology industry chain. The diversified development of the ice and snow industry and the characteristic tourism in Guangwu village, Zhuzhou city, has boosted the revitalization and vitality of traditional villages. The statues in the Yungang grottoes are magnificent and rich in content, which can be called the crown of Chinese stone carving art in the 5th century AD. Hello and welcome to Exploring Shanxi, I'm Zhang Yiyi. Jingbo Biopharmaceutical is a leading enterprise in the Shanxi synthetic biology industry chain. How did this local enterprise, founded 15 years ago, start from scratch, adhere to original innovation, and grow into a leading enterprise in the field of functional proteins in China? Today we start with the story of a cell factory. 这里是山西景博生物的生产车间，高获批上市的注射用重组三型人员化胶原蛋白溶液的生产线正在全力生产。我们了解到呢，这是继重组三型人员化胶原蛋白冻干纤维后，企业自主研发生产的第二个采用生
but also drive the consumption of catering, accommodation, and other items at the foot of the mountain. Every weekend and holiday, the surrounding restaurants, hotels, and inns are almost fully booked. Old Guangwu Village is the most complete existing ancient city of the Liao Dynasty in China, with a history of more than a thousand years. In 2022, Shanyin County implemented the Chinese historical and cultural famous village construction project to revitalize Old Guangwu Village beneath the Great Wall, bringing new brilliance to the ancient village. The Yungang Grottoes are located at the southern foot of Wuzhou Mountain in Datong City, Shanxi Province. The grottoes were excavated into the mountain, stretching for one kilometer from east to west. The statues in the grottoes are magnificent and rich in content, which can be called the crown of Chinese stone carving art in the fifth century A.D. It is known as the treasure house of ancient Chinese grotto art, and is enlisted on the World Heritage List. In the art world, in the history of Chinese culture, the most easily forgotten thing is time. 世界文化遗产云冈石窟与甘肃敦煌莫高窟、河南洛阳的龙门石窟并称为中国的三大石窟。云冈石窟呢，是开凿于北魏和平初年，经过了皇家历时六十四年的打造，精心完成的一处皇家石窟寺院。现存洞窟二百五十四个，佛教造像五万九千多尊。是我们中华佛教艺术的巅峰之作，代表了公元五世纪世界雕刻的最高水平。云冈石窟融汇了多种艺术的造像风格。那么，在云冈的第九石窟，我们可以清楚地看到中国传统的木结构建筑，还有中国的勾栏纹、波斯的忍冬纹，还有希腊罗马的廊柱式建筑。在这个洞窟当中，我们看到了大量中西方文化交流的见证。嗯、这是云冈石窟的第十二窟，俗称音乐窟。在这个音乐窟的前世，雕刻了四十七件乐器。在这些乐器当中，我们可以看到中国的筝、台箫、横笛，还可以看到秋瓷的五弦，还有波斯的竖弓喉。这些都是当时各民族艺术大融合的真实写照。云冈石窟本身就是多元文化的集大成者。云冈大不仅仅在于它的体量大，更在于它气度大、格局大。所以，作为云冈人，我们一定要以世界的眼光看云冈，站在云冈看世界。That's all for today's Exploring Shanxi. Before we go, don't forget to scan the QR code below to watch previous videos of our program. See you next time.